All right, so here I created an exponential equation for you guys. And of course, we have different bases. And just to make this more interesting, I also make this exponent x squared. So we have a quadratic part. I know x is equal to 1 is the answer for this, but do we have any other real answers? That's the hard part, right? So as always, please pause the video and try this first. Done? All right, let's see. Unfortunately, we cannot combine this yet, right? Maybe we can try to divide the 2 to the x on both sides. But if we do that, we'll end up with 3 to the x squared. That's equal to 6 times 2 to the negative x. But still cannot do anything, huh? We cannot combine, we cannot take the log. So in fact, I'm not going to do this. So let's go back to what we said earlier. Our best bet is to combine these two parts. But in order for us to do so, we must have the same base. So let's look at the 2 right here and think about how can we change that to become a 3. Please don't say just add 1 to it because we have to deal with the exponent. So now let's, how we, let's see how we can do this. For the 2, we really want to see a 3. But you know what? It's okay as long as we put this and then raise to the log base 3 and then just write down whatever this is inside here because 3 and log base 3 will cancel so we still have the 2 back. Very good. And then we'll take this raised to the x power and then times 3 to the x, power, x squared power and that's equal to 6. But let's do the same thing for the 6 which is 3 to the log base 3 of 6. Now we can multiply the powers here and then we can add the powers because they have the same base. So on the left hand side, we have 3, let's write this down first, which is x squared. And then plus, let's write down the x next, and then we have log base 3 of 2. And that's equal to 3 to the log base 3 of 6 power. Perfect, because they have the same base on the both sides. Right? And, and then the base is just a number, so we can just consider the powers here and here, they have to equal. So we have a quadratic equation. Let's move this to the other side. So we are going to get x squared plus x times log base 3 of 2 and then minus log base 3 of 6 and that's equal to 0. Quadratic equation with x. But we do have... Hmm, these numbers are log numbers. It's crazy. But don't worry. We can always use the quadratic formula but that will be a little bit too much work because in fact, we can just factor this, right? But again, if you want to use a quadratic formula, be my guest, but let's see how we can factor it. I will draw the tic-tac-toe boxes for you guys like this. All right, what times four give us x squared? That's just x times x, no big deal. Now, what times four give us negative log base three of two? Easy, right? It's just negative log base three of three times log base 3 of 2. No, this is so wrong. Remember, when we are trying to fill in these two boxes, we have to think about two things multiplying to get us that. If we write down negative log base 3 of 3 times log base 3 of 2, can we just multiply the numbers inside? No. So what can we do? Check this out. In fact, we can just use negative 1 times this, which is log base 3 of 6. The reason is because, of course, this times that will give us this. That's obvious because negative times that, right? And when we combine them, we do get log base 3 of 2. Let me show you. If we look at negative 1 plus log base 3 of 6, you know, this is what we can do. We can look at this as log base 3 of 6 and then look at the negative 1. Right, we are going to purpose write this as minus log base 3 of 3. How's that? Good, huh? So technically, this is the same as that. Well, but it doesn't really matter. And the reason that we want to do this is because, in fact, this is log base 3. And then we can just do 6 divided by 3, right, by the log property. So we do end up with positive log base 3 of 2. So the middle part, when we do this times that, we get, let's put on x first, and then log base 3 of 6. And then when we do this times that, we get negative x, just negative x. Yeah. 
And when we combine them, well, the coefficient is going to be this, which is exactly what we want. So let's see. This right here factors to be x minus 1 times x plus log base 3 of 6 equals to 0. So ladies and gentlemen, we do end up with our answer earlier, x is equal to 1, and the other one is x is equal to, you know, put that to the other side, so negative log base 3 of 6. And then, in fact, they are both correct. You can go ahead and go back there and then check there, but you can also trust me, they are the correct answer. Yeah. So, yeah, I find that this right here is pretty fun, but the deal is that, yeah, this is the key. And then you can always use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations, but if you put a 6, the fact just really nicely. I do have a really bizarre question I would like to propose though. This right here works out pretty nicely because we have a multiplication, but what if we have this? 2 to the x plus 3 to the x squared, and that's equal to 6. In fact, I don't think there's any nice way to solve this kind of equation. I have no idea. I have no idea, so I'll just put on a question mark. Yeah, so you can let me know what you think. And if you would like, you can just take this right here as like a, the type of exponential equation with quadratic power and can change the number right here to be like 7 or 24. In that case, you have to use quadratic formula to solve that part, that, that, that equation. It's slightly harder, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. Check out my other videos for more questions like this.